Hello, my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. I'd like to offer you some foreign exchange charts. And the first chart I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. Now, if we look at this one, okay, so we had the elephant in the room yesterday, the key reversal up that pushed the market back up and out of the old gap, which is between 108.20 and 107.77, and over the neckline, which is currently at 108.04, of March's cathedral top. So how was the follow-on? Well, we did go higher yesterday, breaching the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 108.90 and well into the congestion zone, 108.60 to 109.30. But the market didn't like it up there with this congestion and stuff and turned back down to finish, yes, back within the old gap, 108.20, 107.77 again. Today we've tested lower, down below the neckline right now, those still within the old gap. Finally, I've written and spoken about quite a lot about this diamond pattern I've seen over recent weeks. I've also warned that we're coming to the cusp of this diamond pattern. And as such, I've also cautioned about possible false breakouts. We've now had false breakouts in both directions and time is running out. The next chart to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A third bearish black crow yesterday and seemingly making an unusual break lower from the recent ascending triangle pattern. It was also the second consecutive close below the March-based 50 cent Fibonacci line at 123.04 and now seemingly justifies the idea of a possible double top. There are two levels to look at on the downside if we should continue that way. The first, target X, is the initial potential for the ascending triangle on the downside and that's at 119.60 area. The second is the potential double top target or X1 in the 108.50 area. There's quite a bit to go on the downside, and we've had to surmount the very recent 50 cent of an arch line at 120.24 to get there, just to start with. But it seems right now that we may be trying to get there. The next chart to look at is Euro Sterling. After Tuesday's break upwards, we had yesterday a consolidation, perhaps some indecision as well with an indecisive long-legged doji cross. I suppose this ought not to be surprising as this market has mixed emotions right now. The bullish side held yesterday's close and also today's action over the short stroke medium moving average at 88.41. Meanwhile, the bearish side looks overhead with trepidation to the big 50% for Bernard line for the whole of the 2019, December 2019 to March 2020 move at 88.87. It remembers too well that three weeks ago when it last tried up there towards this 50% for Bernard line that it was rejected. This is where we are right now. One final point, the target on the upside for the recent sideways pennant would be in the 89.80 area. It is still too early on that. I'm actually loath to call it a target right now. The next chart to look at is the US dollar against the Indian rupee. After Tuesday's big, huge key reversal down, what did we get yesterday? A nothing, an indecisive spinning top. What's more, the close yesterday was right on the rising short stroke medium moving average, currently 75.41. This, I suggest, indicates second thoughts about going lower, and today's move above this moving average seems to justify it. However, just overhead, we have the very recent 50 cent Fibonacci line at 75.68. It'll be interesting to see how now the market deals with being squeezed between these two forces. Overall, even this recent action still ties in with the idea I've mentioned two weeks ago of the moves from March today increasingly looking like an inverted ascending scallop pattern. The last chart to look at is the US dollar against the Brazilian real. After Tuesday's key reversal ab, what did we get yesterday? A higher but still indecisive doji cross. The market nevertheless maintained its open and close within the recent March to April base bullish Andrews pitchfork, specifically once again over the middle time, which is currently 588.44. I continue to have a suspicion about this market. I'm not sure quite why, other than my decades of seeing such markets, but I suspect there may be some even more volatile action possible. So watch carefully. That about wraps it up. So in the meantime, good trading and stay safe in the markets and in real life.